Hi, and welcome to section 7. In this section, we're going to learn about HTTP proxies and how we can intercept and manipulate HTTP requests. In this section, we're going to start by learning what an HTTP proxy is and how it works. Then, we're going to explore MITM proxy, which is an HTTP proxy developed in Python. Then, we're going to write scripts for MITM proxy that will allow us to manipulate the requests. And finally, we're going to see how to analyze and manipulate their responses. Let's move on to the first video of section 7, where we're going to learn about HTTP proxies. In this video, we're going to learn what is an HTTP proxy, why are proxies needed or used, and what types of HTTP proxies exist. Let's move on. First, let's see what is an HTTP proxy. An HTTP proxy is a server that acts as an intermediary between two communication parties. There is no direct communication between the client and the server. Instead, the client connects to the proxy and sends the request to it. Then the proxy will fetch the resources from the remote server and finally return the response back to the client. Why do we want a proxy? Because of privacy reasons when we don't want the servers to know where we're coming from or who we are. For bypassing filters and censorship. In countries where internet censorship is common and services are blocked, proxies can help us to get around these blocks. Logging and eavesdropping. Many companies implement proxies in order to log what employees are browsing and to eavesdrop on their communications. Caching. Other companies use proxies in order to cache content and speed up communications. Filtering and blocking. Also, companies directly want to block and limit what services an employee could visit. Finally, to manipulate and modify traffic. As security testers, we are interested in intercepting the communications between our browser and the web applications in order to analyze and manipulate the requests and responses in order to identify vulnerabilities and also debug problems. When it comes to HTTP proxies, there are a few different distinctions that we should make. Forward proxies. This is the most common example of proxies. It is the example we used in the explanation of what a proxy is. Forward proxies are the ones where the client sends the request to the proxy and the proxy fetches the resource on his behalf. In this case, the user chooses to, or is forced to, use a proxy in a company. The user knows that a proxy is being used, but the server doesn't. Reverse proxies. These are proxies used by companies in order to hide behind network architecture and mainly to distribute load between real servers. The user think they are connecting to a real server, but they are connecting to a proxy that will handle the request. Transparent proxies intercepts normal communications at the network layer without requiring any configuration on the client side. Usually, clients do not know they are using a transparent proxy. Transparent proxies usually do not modify requests and responses. They are commonly used by ISPs in order to provide faster responses to their customers. The proxy acts as a router or gateway. In this video, we learned what is an HTTP proxy, why proxies are needed, and the different types of proxy that exist. In the next video, we're going to learn how to use MITM proxy.